everyone, Dolly here with Crafty Mermaid Mom. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Today I'm excited because I get to share another haul with you, but this is my favorite type of haul, and this is a thrift haul. So yesterday I went shopping. I actually went thrifting. I did not go into any um, retail shops. I went into four different thrift shops and found some really cool things. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and first of all, let me tell you, my mission in those thrift shops was to find some vintage ephemera pieces. So although I did not get, you know, a lot of vintage pieces, I did get some really cool books and a few pieces for a great deal. So I wanted to share that with you guys today. So let's go ahead and get started. So before I show you the books that I picked up, I wanted to show you the items that I found. So the first item that I found was this, and this was a great find because I feel like I could not have purchased this in the store or you know in an antique shop for the price that I uh, found it for. So what I found, and let me show you this, is if you guys have ever seen the T for One sets, I love collecting those because you know I love teacups, I love teapots, and this T for One set is so gorgeous, you guys. I was looking at this and I wanted to make sure, because a lot of times in the thrift stores, when you find something like this, a lot of times it's got chips, it's got cracks or something like that. And this one looks like it has been owned but never used. And you can usually tell by opening it up and checking the inside for tea stains or coffee stains and especially the spout. That will always tell you if it's been used because it's very hard to get inside the inner spout and usually you will see tea stains in there. So I check this thoroughly and it is like new. So I just thought this was such a pretty, pretty tea for one set, you guys. So here is the cup and look at the beautiful butterfly on here. To me, this looks kind of vintage because it's beige and it's just really, really, really pretty. I love it. Um, and here's the top portion of it, which is the teapot. Look at that. Look at the dragonfly. Isn't that a gorgeous picture or a gorgeous print? And then here is another butterfly on the other side. And I just thought this was so beautiful. And it's got the lid with the gold top or the gold trim. So this goes right on top. Usually this teapot portion goes right on top of the cup. So they call these tea for one because you have one teacup and your own personal teapot. So I thought that was really, really a great deal. And let me tell you how much I paid for this. I paid only $5.99 for this, which I thought was an awesome deal. The second item that I purchased was this. And you guys are probably thinking, what the heck is that? So this is a ball, a small ball of yarn. And it's, um, this is eyelash trim. So here's the thing. I love eyelash trim. So my friend Alicia had gifted me with this really beautiful eyelash trim piece and she shared it with me. It was like in the seafoam color and I used that for my journal and I love how it looks on paper. I love how it looks on the edges of the pages. So I wanted to get something in the earth tones and I happened to find this one piece and I think this was 75 cents, but I mean, it's enough to make more than a couple of journals, I think, and I love the color of this. It's very earthy. It almost looks like a tan colored. So for 75 cents, I thought that was a great deal. I also picked up this right here and it was for 50 cents and it's just Halloween wrapping paper or Halloween tissue paper. And I thought this would be good for happy mail that I'll be sending out in October. That was, oh, I think I showed you guys the price on this. This was only 50 cents. So here's another item that I found. It's a box of birthday cards and for 50 cents you get uh, 16 square cards and I did open it up and it looks like all 16 are there. These are great cards to give out for children's birthdays um, or whatnot. A lot of times, you know, if I'm going to uh, a birthday party for a small child and I don't have time to run to the shop, I think these are colorful enough that uh, they would work. So for 50 cents, you cannot beat that. Thought that was a great deal. 
Another thing that I found was so cute, you guys. They're animal rummy cards for a card game. And I don't think this is vintage because, of course, look at the box. It looks brand new. So I'm pretty sure it's, you know, it's just a new print. But look at the cards themselves. Don't they look like the old-fashioned um, prints that you would see on, like, birthday cards or whatnot? There might be some missing cards in here, but I don't care because this is so cute. And I just love that they look very vintage. The pictures all look very old to me, even though the cards are still new. And if I wanted to age these cards, I could tea dye them or I could coffee dye them. That would not be a problem. And I wanted to look for cards because I think they're a great idea for inserts in... Um, junk journals so this one this pack here i want to say was a dollar this was in one of those boutique thrift shops which i didn't plan to go into but i went into anyway um and it was a dollar so a little higher than what i would expect to pay for in a regular thrift store okay so this right here i did find in a regular thrift store this one um I want to say this might have been 50 cents, but this is so cool, you guys. I love this pack. So um, I think this would be so cute to use in a journal. So what these are are information cards. So they're adventure cards, which let's say you were in Paris and you wanted to check out some hot spots. Basically, these cards pinpoint some of those hot spots. Like, for example, this one right here is the Eiffel Tower. It gives you some information. It tells you what mode of uh, transportation or what to take to get there. It gives you even the website for um, the Eiffel Tower. So isn't that so cool? And then here's Chinatown, same thing. But all of these are really cool. It just gives you some really neat facts and um, info on these uh, hotspots in Paris. So I thought these would be great to use for some type of a junk journal, for maybe a Paris themed junk journal or a travel junk journal. Okay, and then the next set of cards that I found were these and i really like these ones these are a go fish cards and so you get all of these cards uh to play go fish but the neat thing about this is that they are paintings by van gogh so there's various artists that uh you will have copies of their paintings or their work in here i thought that was really really very very nice so this one, I think was, uh, I want to say these were 50 cents each, you guys, because I got these at like a veteran's thrift store and it was very affordable in that store. So I really liked those. I thought those were a great find. And then I also found these and what these are, they were 95 cents each and they're stamped. So these little things are covering what the picture is. Of, but this basically says boo uh, sorry it's got that tag and I don't want to mess with it this one says trick-or-treat and I thought those were cute they were 95 cents each but better than what I would pay for them at Hobby Lobby um, the other item that I found randomly was this and these are rhinestone stickers and um, I want to say oh these were 50 cents only so for 50 cents I thought that was really cute <clears throat> The other item I found for 50 cents was this. These are kind of vintage recipe cards. They look very vintage to me. Not sure if they are, but um, they've got pictures of strawberries on them. For 50 cents, I thought these would be great. You could use these in um, a journal as well. Um, the other item that I got was this box, you guys. And this box came with this book which I thought was really pretty. So look at the inside of this box. Isn't that beautiful? Now, not only is the inside of the box so pretty, so is the outside. So gorgeous with the butterfly. And this was only $2.99 for this whole entire set. And the box is really sturdy, you guys. This is not one of those small, um, thin Michael's box. It's very thick and hard. So I really, really like this box for $2.99. I could put like tags or whatever I want to in this. 
I thought that was an excellent deal. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put back these things that I found. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all of the books that I found. I'm really excited about that. So the first book that I wanted to show you guys, or the first set of books that I found, were these three. And I just love these ones because the illustrations in these books are so, so pretty. And they're not vintage, but I love um, this one, The Wizard of Oz, and I thought it would be so cute to do a junk journal in The Wizard of Oz. I love The Wizard of Oz. So check out the pictures. So colorful. Okay. And then this one, A Little Princess. Again, really beautiful illustrations in this book. And then the third book is Little Women, and I love this classic as well. Um, it would be fun to do one in this, but I really want to do one in The Wizard of Oz. So here's Little Women. I always watch this movie around Christmas time. I love this movie so much. It's a great classic. Okay, those were the three books that I got, and these were uh, a dollar each. Okay, and that's not bad for these considering they look brand new. They really do. Okay, so the next book that I got, I had to grab this. Of course, this is not vintage, but look at the title of this, you guys. It's The Mermaid Chair, and um, I think this would be so, so cute to do a mermaid themed book. Um, I don't have any uh, plans to make one just yet because I do have a beautiful ocean and mermaid themed junk journal already from my friend Dawn at Dawn H Creates that I'm absolutely loving. So this is just a book that I got in case in the future I ever wanted to make one for somebody. Um, I can use that because the title would be perfect. Uh, the other book that I got, oh, I don't know if I showed you guys. I think this was a dollar as well. So this one right here um, is the Dork Diaries book, but I didn't get it for the cover or anything like that. Um, there was 75 cents, but I got this for the inside because check it out. <clears throat> Some of the pages are already written in, but there's so many cute things that you could add to a junk journal in here like this one for example it says would you rather spend the day floating under the sea or above the clouds i thought that was so cute so there's like really cute random questions in here that you could just add to a junk journal that i thought would be so fun so this is just a really fun book in general you guys i thought i could use the pages so i had to grab that for 75 cents the next item that I got was this and again this is not vintage and this I got for a dollar but I just had to grab it because it's a cookbook it's a Mary Engel Engelbright cookbook and if you guys love Mary Engelbright's work you will know that all of her illustrations are so beautiful look at that you know um, of course it's not filled with a ton of her um, illustrations but I thought I might use some of the recipes in here as well, but the illustrations that are in here, you guys, are just adorable. So let me show you a few of them. Look at how pretty that is. Look at this one. Isn't that cute? The food looks so good. Here's one. It's really cute. Look at this. This is adorable. Oh my gosh. Just makes you want to take a picture of this or snapshot a picture of it and just save it just really cute so many cute pictures in here so um, look at this this is like a picnic or a tea time so cute yeah I have so much fun just going through these and looking at the pictures oh my goodness look at this that's adorable so yeah for a dollar I could not resist this one was a great deal and I could not pass that up uh, what I try to do is on the ones that I know I'm going to use journals for, I take them apart right away so that I don't have to stash the bulk. And my husband made a little cupboard in the uh, garage for me where I could stick all of my books. All right, so the next item that I found was this in a people house. And I remember owning this when I was younger, but 
Look at it's got all these cards, these subscription cards that you could even use in a junk journal. But love the color pictures, colorful pictures in this. And I want to say this was about 50 cents. And then check this one out. I had to grab this. I thought this was really neat. Um, so it's a fairy tale of Cinderella, you guys. And the thing is, look it. It's in either Chinese or Japanese. I wish I knew. If any of you know what this writing is, can you please tell me if it's Chinese or Japanese? But I love anything like this. And I just thought this was such a great find. So unique. Love that. And I think this one also was 75 cents. All right. So then this one right here, Nancy Clancy, this one um, was 65 cents. And I love this because of the pages inside. Look at these black and whites. They're just so cute. The drawings in here that um, are just so adorable that I would love to use these in my journaling. And I love the Nancy uh, Nancy Clancy books. They're so colorful, at least the covers are. All right, so the next item that I found was this, and it's called The Happiest Season of All. And this book I just had to get because I think it would be a perfect addition to a Christmas journal. Look at how cute these illustrations are in this. Very, very cute, and I love these warm, earthy tones. So cute. Isn't that adorable? So, so cute. So, I had to get that, and this one might have been a dollar. So, that one is, was a great find. The next book that I found was this, and it is Sand Casting. And I love this. I would love to use this in a tropical theme or a beach theme because um, it's all in black and white, but it's got illustrations and it's uh, mostly about uh, sand casting, the sand at the beach. And I think it's really cute. All right, so I think this was either um, 50 cents or a dollar I'm not sure okay so the next one was I like the country I love this book you could tell this is an older book because of the pictures and because the cover is so nice back in the day when they made the books with a lot more quality here you go it is Sacramento 1958 so this is a vintage piece but the reason why I got this as you can see is because it's got pictures and music notes how cute is that? So this will be fun to work with. Isn't that adorable? Love that, and I love all of these pictures. Okay, so then the next book that I found was this Real Mother Goose book, and it's a big book, you guys, but I wanted to, um, I wanted to purchase this. This was only a dollar. I wanted to get this, the pictures, I thought were perfect because some are big, but there are some that are small enough to use for uh, tags or whatnot, or even lay as photo mat. If I was doing a certain theme, I could pull it out from here. If I was doing a certain fairy tale theme, there's quite a few in here. So I thought that would be great for a dollar. Can't beat that. So the next few books that I found were all golden books and I had to grab these because they were in really really good condition. So this one is called Baby Deer and the only thing with this is it's got this tape here that I tried to take out but I can't really without tearing a piece of the cover. So I thought what I can do is I can probably put a ribbon on her hair or do something once I use this cover for a um, altered children's book but of course this looks kind of vintage. I love the pictures in this one. Um, these were all a dollar each. This one, Kitty's New Doll. Really cute also. And then this one is We Help Daddy. Really adorable pictures. Oh my gosh. Such cute pictures, you guys. The Velveteen Rabbit. I thought this was really, really cute. 
you know, sometimes there's writing on the inside of the book, but you can always cover that. And then sometimes you may not want to cover the writing. So this one is my little golden book about God. I've been looking for this one. And this one was not a dollar. This one was $2.95, but I would pay $2.95 because it's like new. And to be honest with you, I don't think I could get this for $2.95 outside. So those were the golden books that I found. And then um, I have this book, which I found and I had to grab because this one is called drawings of hawaii to color so they're coloring pages with poetry pages and it says amaryllis of hawaii by marilyn jansen and the pictures in here are beautiful so there's poetry in here there's stories and best of all there are these coloring pages that you can work with but i love look at that you guys look at this beautiful girl and then girl with all these beautiful flowers it tells about the hula love that and look at this sea turtle isn't that gorgeous underwater fish it's really really pretty so i love that i found this i don't know if i want to take this apart i think i'm just going to keep this because i do love this book okay so the best find or the one that I'm most excited about, you guys, was this last piece. And this was in an area um, not close to the books, but I just grabbed it. And what it is, is this vintage book. And it looks like a welcome baby book. After a mother gives birth to her child back in the day, um, they would give you this. And it was like an instructional book. So um, this is just so neat. So... It's from a Jewish general hospital, and it's it's a complimentary book that they would give away, but you can tell this is so old. And if you look at it, um, the staples on here are a little rusted, but the pages in here are just so, so cute. So I'm going to let you see some of the illustrations in here so you can see how old this is. So this was previously owned by somebody who actually started working on it, but really didn't have time to finish working on it. So I just love all of the um, pictures and advertisements in this. Look at that, Minute Maid. Very, very vintage. You get a lot of uh, advertisement in here. Like, look at this. Frigidaire. Isn't that cute? So many cute pages in here, you guys. I don't know if I want to take this apart, but yes, this would be perfect for use of the uh, ephemera in your junk journals. So here's some information on the previous owner of this book. So it looks like the previous owner was born in 1957, and that's when this book um, was started but never finished. And here's some, looks like uh, coupons back in the day. Look at that. And these are for like baby foods. So, so neat. So I'm really happy about this, you guys. So it was $4, and when I first picked this up, I wasn't sure if I wanted to pay $4 for a baby book. So when I got to the um, counter, I asked the lady, um, I told her, I said, you know, I really don't want to pay $4 for this. It's really nice, but um, I don't think I want to pay $4 for it. Would you consider taking two? And she says, absolutely. <laughs> It was easy as that, so I figured, you know what, it's, it never hurts to ask. So I got this book for $2. So anyway, um, that was it for my uh, book haul and thrift haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul, and thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.